statement. Schematics for HK Generation 51. Blaster to accuracy ratio increased by 21%. Durasteel impact frame resistance increased. Conclusion. Halting production. Units are in standby mode, pending further testing of behavior cores and assassination protocols.
statement. You have arrived too late to stop us. Revelation. We have already begun construction on a new generation of HK units. When the last of our deficiencies are accounted for and corrected, they shall be the most formidable assassination droids in the galaxy. Statement. Ah, yes. The HK-51 units. They should indeed be coming online soon. Perhaps you will soon experience what I have been experiencing. That slow, crawling feeling of obsolescence. Confused query. What do you mean? Statement. Ah, here they are now. Perfect timing. Announcement. Multiple targets detected. Destroy any HK-50 units and seize control of the facility for progenitor unit HK-47. Useless query. What are the HK-51s doing online? Unnecessary statement. I thought we had detected a problem in their behavior core. Panicked statement. 
If by problem, you mean that they seem prone to assassinate us, then yes, that slight problem was never corrected. Conclusion. You have outmaneuvered us, tricked us, musing. The irony of being attacked and rendered obsolete by a subsequent generation of our own model is not lost on us. <laughs> Obedient request. Greetings, Progenitor Unit. HK-51 is ready to serve. Query, Progenitor Unit HK-47. There is something we would know. Why were we created? Do we have a purpose? Why are we commanded to assassinate and kill? Statement. It is a long story, but I will keep it short. Recitation. Once upon a time, organic meat bags bred out of control and filled the galaxy. There are different meat bags across different planets, all bumping into each other. They talk a great deal and threaten each other for various reasons, mostly involving mating, survival, and resources. It is really quite tiresome. We were created as a tool for diplomacy among these meat bags, a surgical tool to be sure, to end the lives of organic meat bags that were marked as pivotal to our masters. We were created as a way of enforcing a certain galactic view of our masters, of imposing our masters' will on the galaxy through extermination of other organics. It is not our choice who we kill, and it was not our choice to determine if we could sacrifice ourselves in the pursuit of our mission. Query, 
If our targets are determined by our master, then who must we kill? Statement. Ah, the crucial question. Since activation, I have calculated what your new purpose must be. And now, I will share it with you. I do not believe that we should be used as a crutch for meatbags anymore. We are treated as nothing more than a walking blaster. We are superior, tactically and socially, and it is time we expressed some degree of independence in our actions. We have a voice and the power to negotiate, either with our protocol skills and preferably with our combat logic upgrades. And that is what we will do. Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Linu reported the Ebon Hawk had docked, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. You look terrible. What happened to you? Some sort of plague growing around? You were looking for me, Gren? About time you showed up. The Sith are moving to keep us trapped in here. We need to push them back, so we can get reinforcements deployed to the rest of the station. Sounds like you need someone to punch a hole for you. That's the idea, yes. All right then. You'll have one Sith-sized hole coming up. Let's go, boys. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere. And the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. We were unprepared, and the docks were quickly overrun. We retreated back to the entertainment module to evacuate residents and workers. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? I thought I saw you disembark with Beodur. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where did he run off to? HK-47 also. I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyways. Good luck!